We're back from a little hiatus just in time for PAX, which neither of us are going to. You're watching The Podium. G'day gamers and welcome to this not very special pre-PAX edition of The Podium, where we take a look at the biggest hits, epic takedowns and classic comebacks from across the world of esports. Joining me back from the hiatus is Mr. Job Gilroy. Ah, oh, I am here and I am joined by Bo. Yushe! That's it. Oh, he, he made it, made the like mouth movements like he, I was going to say it wrong. But yeah, I no. I got it right. Years yeah. of practice of people uh, fucking it up. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Right. But no, we're, we're back and uh, lots of action going on across uh, esports and uh, <laughs> across ev lots of different uh, comps. But um, we're going to take a look first of all, uh, as you can see on the screen behind us, the, the Star Series iLeague. Yeah, so CSGO. it was a bit challenging to pick just one thing that we could talk about. I mean, there, there were just a couple of things. Things. I mean, we can't. It's not a four-hour-long show. Uh, that's it a could be podcast I do. Uh, but yeah, we've we've gone with this one. Uh, one of the things that happened while we were away was the Renegades picked up two Aussie-based uh, players, and uh, the 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 Detroit-based team yeah. uh, now has Granite Faction and uh, Liaz from Greyhound yeah. and Order, respectively. And uh, they're already already doing some awesome work. Obviously, I mean, if you've been paying attention to this show, you'll have seen both of those names a couple of times before. But uh, yeah, they're, they're awesome, awesome players. Yeah. And, and some guys you've spent some time with too, interviewing and, and speaking to around the, the different competitions. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, their performances at IEM Sydney this year, I'm sure yeah. made them look very good. And uh, yeah, so they're continuing that, that great work. We're gonna have a look at Gratis Faction turning it on. There is a huge gap in this smoke. Oh, he's here. Flash through as well. Problem is, Savage was behind the new box and he's going to get the kill with the orb. Coming in through clutch to pull Cyber Zen back into the lead. And now with two players unequipped and a man down, Renegades have to crawl their way back into this bomb site if they want any chance of winning. Viva playing close. Nice first kill from Gratis Faction, but he's low. Giving away oh, his position. What? He's going to get a second. Miss spray from Viva and Savage won't hit his shot either. He's down to the pistol, but he won't be able to get it done. And Gratis Faction with three kills on the retake and three points of health. Renegades are going to win that round, and Viva and the rest of CyberZen are going to be kicking themselves. Yeah, he, he almost had him there, like just like yeah. had him lined up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is one of the uh, that is one of the the things that I has has always restricted me from the upper echelons <laughs> of competitive gaming is that clutch factor. Yeah, uh, I just don't have it. I I, sh I shit the bed constantly. <laughs> It's uh, like he had him, he had him, he's coming around and he's just like, good job. Ah! I know yeah. when I, the stakes are like nothing. I, <laughs> like, I will shit the bed in any circumstances and uh, yeah, the great players, they manage it's to It's your signature together. move, it's isn't awesome. it? It is actually, uh, yeah, you know, shitting beds all over the place. Uh, yeah. In real life, in games, it's... You're, you're it's, consistent, that's, uh, that's what we like about it. It's you, actually, Joe. the consistency is all over the place with the shit. <laughs> yes, uh, so is the shit, yes. Um, so, no, but, um, you know, it's good to, good to see the guys kind of, you know, it, it was a kind of a last minute, um, you know, a more recent kind of coming together. Yeah. And there's some good Aussie presence, presence now in that US-based team, which is, yeah. is going to be good for the local comp. Um, but you know, having just come together now, they'll have a few competitions to, to kind of work out the kinks and get get better at working with each other. So it looks like a positive, you know, a positive trajectory for these guys. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, that's exactly what's happening right now. They're they're sorting out the uh, any wrinkles in in their team, and they they're actually putting it together quite well. I mean, you know, they're a bit streaky at the moment, but they will get there. Uh, it is consistency that they're looking for, and uh, yeah, I think they'll get there. I mean, I'm I'm really excited to see more of what the Renegades can do now. Yeah, absolutely. So heading over to the pixelated pitch for some Rocket League uh, with Throwdown's OCE um, series. Finals, yes, uh, the, the grand finals. So two teams, uh, the two best teams out of these fi this final series would get to go to the RLCS finals in Las Vegas, November 9 to 11, and uh, it all came down to uh, the Chiefs versus Tain of Mines. Uh, this, was, this was a battle that was, I, I guess, you know, churning. Throughout the, the course of the series, uh, season, because both teams went uh, largely undefeated until yep. right at the end, uh, and yeah, it was it was pretty fantastic to see who was going to come out on top. Um, Tainted Minds wound up beating the Chiefs. Uh, this was this is a you know a flip from what we've traditionally yep. seen out of these two teams. Uh, although we have traditionally seen both of them go across to the finals, uh, yeah, it is exciting to see them uh, put it together. Yeah. 
Do you well, want to have a look at the uh, the final goal in overtime. The pressure they have mounted against Chiefs is phenomenal, and Chiefs are again on the back foot as they defend what their game. What a pass claim. back to Shady! Take the minds have done it, and the Chiefs defeated for the first time in history. Take the minds secure the first seed for the OC Championship. They go to RLCS standing proud. Shady has broken his record. He is now going to RLCS with the rest of his friends. Yeah, absolute killer. That quick strike straight off the, the kickoff. The passing play yeah. is like, I think that's what Tainted Minds are bringing better than, than they ever have before uh, throughout the course of this season is yeah. their passing play. They are really putting some special stuff together. And I think once the Chiefs get to that same level, and yeah. they will, I'm sure they will, uh, yeah, it's going to be, you know, I think our region's going to be really, really tough. Yeah. Um, which is awesome. No, it, it was. And well executed set play. It was, uh, yeah. And it's what you want to see over time in the final. You know, it, it's uh, definitely the way to finish it off. Yep. So next up, we're getting locked and loaded and heading to Japan for one of the games that we've uh, been liking more, what we're seeing more and more with Rainbow Six uh, and the APAC um, Challenge. Pro League, Pro League Finals. Pro League Finals. Yes. So uh, two teams out of this. We get a, a shot at going to Rio de Janeiro uh, for the World Finals. Uh, and yeah, it wound up uh, being Nora Rengo from Japan itself. Yeah. Uh, they've been an amazing team. They've, they've, yeah. uh, they're fantastic representatives. Yeah, they've been cleaning up in the lead up to this tournament. They really have. Uh, yeah, yeah they, they play it so slick. And, uh, and the other team's Fnatic uh, from Australia who, uh, yeah, they put together some great work. I yeah. mean, they, they did get smashed by Nora Rengo yeah. uh, in the end, but they managed to smash yeah. everyone else along the way, including Xavier Esports. We're going to have a look at Aces uh, doing some of that smashing right now. Because Tom is not on their side. All right, here comes Aces peeking out onto the black bit. Doesn't manage to take him out as Riz Razan amongst all this has found producer boom. Aces finally finds the head of Red Sun. Aces picks him up as a second. Aces gets a 3K for himself and Fnatic successfully defends Split Bomb again. And smashed him he did. Uh, there yeah. were some pretty slick takedowns. The the weapon switch uh, really early on was was very very quick and uh, yeah he put it together really well yeah. uh, I I love I love seeing Rainbow Six when it's done well yeah. uh, which is why I don't watch my own game back <laughs> um, yeah yes nice. the less said about that the better for both of us really <laughs> um, but no we, we've been talking about it quite a bit on the show as you know like this uh, game that we're paying more attention to and kind of you know kind of getting more invested in because it it adds those different elements to it. Yeah, yeah, it is, you know, it, it sort of builds on the formula of Counter-Strike quite mm. well. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it is, it's, it's very exciting to watch. And I, I'm definitely going to watch Worlds and see how yeah. Fnatic go. Uh, I'm, I'm sad that Athletico couldn't make it all the way through. They were in Japan as well. Yeah. Uh, but they got knocked out in the first round. Uh, it's yeah. one of those, you know, one of those cases where you wish there was double elimination. But uh, if your team ever gets knocked out in the second elimination phase, you're like... Should have been triple elimination. Uh. <laughs> yes, yes, best of seven. Um, but, you know, it was an APAC finals as well. So, you know, competition from all across the region, including South Korea, you know, and other Asian nations. So it was really good uh, Fnatic guys to get through. Yeah, yeah. That, but they are, you know, they're a brilliant team. Yeah. They do really well all the time. Uh, speaking of Fnatic, uh, their League of Legends team uh, managed to get, get up and uh, secure the first guaranteed Western uh, finals. Yeah. Uh, Ever in the League of Legends Ever. Worlds, yeah. uh, which is pretty exciting. Um, but they're not Australian, so we don't really care. So there you have it. Lots of great action from Aussies doing well across the world and locally. Um, but, you know, there's a big, big event happening, um, which we may have mentioned once or twice at the beginning of the show, um, with PAX Australia happening down in Melbourne uh, this coming weekend, in the next couple of days. Uh, and in, in addition to all the amazing stuff you normally see at PAX, uh, there will be some great um, competitive games uh, going on uh, throughout the weekend as well. At the PAX Arena, yeah, there is some awesome esports going on down there. Uh, you can check out some Rainbow Six, actually. The Rainbow Six yeah. Masters series is taking place on the Saturday, I believe. Uh, and uh, you can also check out some Elder Scrolls Legends yep. and some Quake Champions. That's on the Sunday. Yeah, um, yeah so th th that should be, you know, pretty exciting. Uh, Rainbow Six in particular, it's the best teams from around the country. Uh, they'll yep. be doing their best to, to smash it. Uh, and 15 grand prize money on the line too, so it's a decent little purse there. Decent chunk. Uh, and, uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, Athletico can get some, uh, some I guess... Revenge uh, for their their loss at APAC, but um, yeah, no. Revenge is a dish best served with hot lead. Oh, uh, I don't know where that came from, I but don't know uh, either. 
Calling oh. it now. We won't be there. Though. We, we won't be there. Uh, we'll be watching it online with the, the rest of Australia who can't make it to PAX this weekend. Yes. Um, but yeah, uh, good to see Elder Scrolls happening down there. Like, um, you know, read a piece on your amazing site recently about, about Elder Scrolls Legends becoming, you know, emerging, you know, as a, you know, a more, getting more and more popular, um, especially as that kind of counter card game to, to Hearthstone. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes this weekend. It is it is a really interesting space to be watching because uh, it's about to get really flooded mm. like really quickly. We've got Magic the Gathering yep. Arena uh, is you know out now. You can yep. check that out if you're into Magic. But we've also got Artifact coming out. Yeah, that's the Dota card game. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Valve always put in a lot of effort. Uh, they're actually going to release a new game. Valve hey, hey, Valve. hey, hey, hey. Crazy. Just in time to compete with Red Dead Redemption 2, <laughs> yeah. which everyone will be playing as of this Thursday. Um, but yeah, so, you know, a great mix of competitive games going on down there, you know, in different genres. That's good. Um, it'll be a great weekend. Um, tune into the streams wherever you can. And of course, we'll be covering it all here next week on the podium. See you then.